Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR 09. In this episode of our season with Greg Biffle's Checker Panties number 16 3M Ford, we're going to be doing race 35 of 36, the Checker Auto Parts 500 at Phoenix International Raceway. It's going to be a 24 lap race, and unlike the first one, we're using the main paint scheme and it's going to be run at daytime. Our goal is to lap 5 cars in this race. I'm not exactly sure if we can do that. I think last time we had to pass 20 cars. Or maybe we had the lap five cars and we failed. I can never actually remember because I don't go back and watch all my damn videos and feeding myself views. It's it's kind of like, um, how do I say? It? It's like it's like eating myself if I go view my own videos. And it's less like eating myself if I download the videos and watch them without actually giving the videos a view. I don't know how to explain it, but whatever. Brian Vickers is on pole, starting next to Kyle Busch. Then we've got Matt Kenseth starting in third next to Dale Jarrett. Mark Martin starting in 5th next to Tony Stewart. John Wood starting in 7th next to Elliot Sadler. And Clint Boyer starting ninth next to Denny Hamlin. That is the top 10 in the last race. Martin Trex Jr. died and then he came back to life. On the exit of turn 4, his ghost was just like watching debris fly right off of Dario Franchitti's face. It was, it was magical. It was... I was like, whoa. It, it was it was mysterious. It's fantastic. Okay, now let's let's race at Phoenix. Maybe this time I'll win instead of John Wood taking it from me because of stupid ending under caution crap. Anyways, we're starting behind Jimmy Johnson and JJ Yillid. Green flag is out, and we are underway here for 24 laps in the daytime here at Phoenix International Raceway. Drove to the back of Jimmy Johnson before we could even get to the start finish line because he was going so slow. Uh, races start. I see Carl Edwards up there with Jamie McMurray, my teammates. I don't know why Jimmy Johnson's back here. Why is Eleanor Jr. back here? I don't know why any of these drivers are back here. This game is so dumb. Wow, hardly made up any positions in the first lap. Depression. It's not hit. Dario Franchitti. It's bad enough his face fell apart last time we raced with him. Okay. Trying not to drive up in traffic and all that. I just really want to win this race. I also want to lap five cars. I would like to win all the races left in the season because right now, let's see. Um, first race this week was Atlanta. Carl Edwards, who is right here, won that race. And this is Phoenix. I'm not even going to try to work with somebody that's going to be on the outside. But we won at Texas. Can we win the win? Can we win this race and then win at Homestead, win the last three races of the season? That would be awesome. And off the championship that way. Here's Martin Trex Jr. He's uh, he's alive again. It's all fine and good. There's Megan Fox. Hi, Megan Fox. Megan Fox drives for Richard Petty, you know? Megan Fox and Richard Petty, they're really close. I want to autograph from Megan Fox, you know? That, that'd be awesome. That'd be hot. There really isn't much to say. Sometimes there's really not much to say. Because it's just me trying to pass cars on the hardest difficulty in this game that's not challenging. I mean, it can be challenging as far as winning races and stuff. Or trying to get your teammates to win races when they're ignorantly stupid. But, uh, yeah, you guys know the story at this point. All right, Regan Smith. You had to block me going to the freaking dog leg. Nuts. Why's my car losing itself? Try to get on the brakes so I can slow down, and it just almost wrecks completely. This is so bad. There's Bobby Levani. It was a struggle to get past him last race. But he did eventually. And then he just disappeared and it was Casey Kane chasing us down and he didn't achieve anything. Alright, so we've made the top half of the field. That's good. We get down underneath Kyle Bush. Kurt Bush. Stupid JC1424. So stupid. Uh, Denny Hamlin is up here. Kevin Harvick. I knew it. I mean, I remember these guys were like in the back at Sonoma. That's one place where I remember them all being in the back. It's just so weird. They're just anywhere in this game. You could never actually have a driver be where they're supposed to be in the game. 
gosh, your car is loose whenever I hit the brakes. It's just annoying. About to crack the top 10. Last time we came here, we had the same old caution crap. And then there was probably some debris that fell off somebody's car. And it caused um, me to not be able to pass John Wood and win the race. I was really close to doing it, so John Wood is right here. Looks like he's been losing positions. He's in 10th position. Let's see if we can get past him. Whoa! He won't go, so I'm kind of screwed out of all this. I'm trying not to drive into him, but he's, he's going so slow and not giving me room. But we're underneath him now. We're going to pass him, going into turn one, as well as Casey Kane. The car is getting loose. The tires are starting to get some wear. And we've got Kyle Bush, not Kurt Bush. Elliot Sather's up here this time. Matt Kenseth is still up front. Who's that in the lead? Brian Vickers in the lead. Yeah, he started on pull. So he's doing a good job of keeping the lead. Awesome. Awesome sauce. I don't even usually say that term, but okay. Where does awesome sauce come from? Seriously. What where is the what is the origination of the awesome sauce, man? Okay, we're gonna get underneath Elliot Sadler going into turn three or whatever number turn that is. Our boyer is up here. Okay, so we got Matt Kinsey. Maybe we can help Matt Kinsey get up to the lead. That should be a job of mine. Whoa! Whoa! That's what happens whenever I get on the brakes. When you get on the brakes, the car starts getting loose. It's, it's, all, it's ridiculous levels of stupid. You can see, I just hit the brakes and the back end starts slinging out. I don't understand. Gosh, this car is getting loose. We're trying to make Matt Kinsey go. Whoa! Whoa! Mark Martin! Little dangling, what the hell are you doing? Okay, here we go. Help Matt Kinsley get past Mark Martin. He is in third position. We're in fourth. And let's see if we can get to Clint Boyer. I'm not trying to pass him. My car is just getting loose and taking itself wherever it wants to go. I don't know where Matt Kinsley is going at the moment. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Matt Kinsey's going to get underneath Clint Boyer going into turn one. We're going to get loose just like usual. I don't know why he's going high. All right, and now he's going low. This is frustratingly weird, man. Okay, here we go, here we go. Can he get underneath him going to turn whatever? Turn whatever? Something cool. You don't know what you're going to say, so you just... Whatever. Say something cool. Alright, so Matt Kinsey led that lap. He's in the lead. We're trying to push him so that we can get away from the guys behind us. Gosh, my car is so loose, and yet the tires claim they're not warm. The tires are claiming shit. This is weird. Whoa, whoa, what is that? What is that? Whoa! Freaking nuts! Carl Edwards. Is he going to lap down? Or has he pitted? All that. This is weird. Getting really low on fuel. And there goes caution, as expected. I was hoping I could lap five cars, but I am not get lap five cars. Damn stupid. Uh. Casey Mears got butt raped by his teammate, Delonar Jr. Delonar Jr. was that desperate to not get him and hit, not uh, let him take a pit stop. And then you got. Megan Fox over there, who's just jacking off, trying to get down pit road or some crap, because they got too much cars in the way. Too much cars. Too many cars. Ah, uh, Megan Fox! Whee! Alright, so we're in lead. We're going to go ahead and head down pit road. We'll just do the same old song and dance. Same old song and dance. Who wrote that song? I forgot. It's in Guitar Hero 3. I know so many of those classic awesome rock songs, and that's just sometimes I can't even remember the damn people that made them. Okay, so can we, can our pit crew not make a mistake this time? 
please. So I am getting past um, while I'm in my pit stall. Of course, we did stay out for a pretty long time. I was going to pit the next time around. Then a caution came out and changed everything. I don't know if we're still... Uh, okay, so we're in second. David Reagan. David Reagan. David Gillen's in front of us. Travis Guapel is also in front of us. Jeff Gordon. Uh, fifth place off pit road. Don't let Elliot Seller buy. All right. Well, I'm in the lead. Why am I in the lead? These guys, they... What? What? I'm confused. They, they were in front of me. They beat me off pit road and you give me the lead. Alright, so if this is just what we're going to have for the rest of the race, then yeah, we'll just go ahead and skip to the last lap and all that. We got a caution. We got another caution? Alright then. Let's skip through some of that. Eleanor Jr. He uh, destroyed Casey Mears a while ago, and now... He has destroyed himself. His face is falling apart. He's got a bad case of the Dario Frankie. We got another freaking caution! Oh my god! Hmm. We haven't got the restart yet! Who is this? Is Jimmy Johnson right there I've been seeing? Hmm. Are we stuck on this camera angle? This one's not helpful either. Uh. No, that's Jamie McMurray, my teammate. He's actually doing pretty well. That's weird. His chin fell off. Well, that's not good. No. We having a green white checkered? Yeah, we got a green white checkered this time. And, uh. Yeah, lap 22 took forever just because of freaking caution. Can we not have any more caution so I can end this race um, under the green flag and, you know, do donuts game? Please, 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 please. Put strawberries on top because I don't like cherries very much. Please. I beg you with all the innovation in my heart and soul. And we made it to the last lap. Please, no debris. Turn car. Turn car. Car. What the heck? That's not good. Now we got Travis Guapo right behind us. Oh my god. Oh my god! This is not good! Stop it, game! And all of a sudden he's dropping way back there. Good god, Travis Wapple's getting these ridiculous runs off the corner. So we're gonna win here at Phoenix International Raceway. We didn't get to do it last time, we did this time. Jamie McMurray finished in sixth. We're gonna do some donuts now. Some peanuts. Some peanuts. Ugh. Arizona's. <laughs> Phoenix. Arizona's. Arizona's. So innovating. Them donuts. <laughs> okay, so we, we did some of that stuff. Alright, so let's head down pit road and get to our pit stall. Ow. There, there we go. I got my ass sticking out, but that's fine. I didn't get a medallion because I didn't lap five cars. I wanted to lap five cars, but it's like almost impossible to do that at every track in this freaking stupid game. Because cautions and idiots try to get down pit road. Failure. And, uh, these are... I don't even want to watch these. Terrible camera angles. Alright, so I started 43rd and finished in first. I led 11 laps, giving me. I didn't lead the most laps. Okay. Uh, Travis Guapel, he started 39th and finished second. Casey Mears started 32nd and finished third. Delano Jr. started 34th and finished fourth. Jimmy Johnson started 41st and finished fifth. These drivers got some weird strategies, man. Jamie McMurray, he started 37th and finished sixth, as we noticed a while ago. Brian Vickers started on pole and finished seventh. He. Led 12 laps, giving him the most laps led. There were two lead changes. And, uh... Huh. Wait. If, yeah, there are two lead changes. That means that there were three leaders. I guess. Um, Megan Fox started 21st and finished 8th. Um, Andrew Jefferson. That's Andrew Jackson. Jefferson. I don't know. Rowley Jefferson started 38th and finished 9th. And, uh, is that, is that Kyle Busch? 
Started 14th and finished 10th. I think it was Kyle Busch. I'm never sure. Oh, it was Kurt Busch. It's never Kyle Busch. Apparently, they don't like Kyle Busch in this game. No wonder why you can easily fire him in career mode right off the bat. Uh, David Gill and uh, Jeff Gordon. Carl Edwards started 33rd and finished 13th. Matt Kenseth started 3rd and finished 15th. He led one lap in this race. David Reagan started 31st and finished 16th. And, uh, yeah, all of our teammates, they finished in the top half of the field. I don't think that's ever happened at all during this season. My entire team finished in the top half of the field. Has that ever happened? But, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the rest of the finishing results. Okay, so Juan Pablo Montoya started 30th and finished 43rd. He only ran 13 laps in this race. All these drivers finished the lap down. Yeah, 25 drivers finished on the lead lap. Only 25 drivers. Wow. Almost half the field. Or over half the field finished on the lead lap. Alright, so I'm in victory lane. We got whoever that is celebrating my victory and all that. Okay, we've got one more race left in the season. This agonizing excuse for a championship. And it is a Ford 400 at Homestead Miami Speedway. It's going to be 21 laps. And, uh, yeah, in the picture, it's uh, a night race. Or a morning race or something. I don't even know. It's it's weird in this game. They always had trouble deciding what time of day or time of night this race is run at. But in this game, it's it's a night race, and they say it's a day race, even though the picture is a night race. I think I can't remember the scenario. But uh, yeah, we have a 413 point lead over Tony Stewart, who is in second. Then we've got Matt Kenseth, Kurt Busch, Michael Waltrip, John Wood, Dylan Hart Jr. seventh, um, Jeff Gordon eighth. Ryan Vickers 9th, Clint Boyer 10th, Paul Menard 11th, and Dale Jarrett is in 12th. That's your point standings. And, uh, well, for the chase, that is. And we got to find our teammates who probably gained a few positions after their good turnout at uh, Phoenix. Jay McMurray is now in 32nd in points. He moved up one position. Uh, Dave Reagan is in 36th. I think he also moved up one position after... Phoenix and of course Carl Edwards is still in 40th position and he will be finishing in 40th position there's no way for him to move from his position you know in all of this it's he's stuck in 40th no matter what all right and then we got all them darn fancy drivers Wanda Sykes is still got a cork in her butt and all that crap I like over the hedge there needs there needs to be an over the hedge sequel I liked I really liked over the hedge it was, it, was, it was such an awesome movie. I, I, I really like that movie. Whatever. I'll see you next time for the Ford 400 Homestead Miami Speedway. That's that. And episode over.